Welcome to Julie Noted. Now, many of us know that there is a violent crime problem in the United States. But what we don't always hear about is that in addition to the crime being committed, there are often good American people who try to intervene and do something about it, and they are punished nowadays for doing so. So in this short episode of Julie Noted, I'm going to focus on four occurrences, incidents that have happened over the past few weeks that are examples of how this whole push to legitimize crime has bled over into actually stopping people from preventing that crime from doing what they would do. Let's start with a terrible story that came out of LAUSD, which is the LA Unified School District. I film here in Los Angeles. LAUSD has 450 schools under its jurisdiction, and they actually defunded their police. That's right, the LA Unified Board actually has a police. They defunded their police back in 2020. In April of 2023, earlier this year, there was a 14-year-old girl at the Sun Valley Middle School who was beaten up by several students many times after she was escorted through the yard by one of her teachers. Let's look at this video, and then I'll tell you more damning details about the story. As other feet and other fists started falling, says he's never seen this video, captured by another student and posted all over social media. It's saddening how cruel that video is, and you are probably wondering, where are the teachers? As I mentioned, the student was being escorted or walked across the schoolyard by a teacher when boys and girls started to attack her, kicking and punching her. What happened was the teacher who was walking her across tried for a few seconds to break up the fight and then stood back and watched as that girl who was lying on the ground was mercilessly being beaten. Why? Well, the teacher was actually asked this question by reporters, and he said that according to LAUSD rules, he could, quote, not touch the students. I mean, it's unbelievable that now we have actual school codes that are saying that even in instances of fighting, teachers can't even touch students. This teacher also said that he had no training on how to properly restrain a child. You have to understand, this is all this woke stuff, that if a fight breaks out, if crime happens, you can't do anything about it because you may, you know, restrain the wrong student, push back the wrong student. I don't even understand their lines of argument, but it comes from this idea that you just have to let it happen. It's sick. I mentioned that the LAUSD board defunded its police force. From 2020 to 2022, they're cut, they cut their budget from $73 million down to $59 million. That's by 20%. The number of sworn officers was also cut by 33% and the entire police department that is in charge of maintaining safety in these schools was cut from 468 employees to 321 employees. Now the LA School Police Associate VP says that he is not surprised at all at the increase of violent incidents, and specifically this one, because there were fewer police and teachers are not allowed to break up fights. And there was this culture of legitimizing bad behavior. Let's go on to another incident that also happened over the past few weeks. There was a employee at a supermarket in Colorado, the King Supers supermarket, which is a subsi subsidiary of the Kroger. And this employee witnessed several thugs stealing $500 in merchandise. He took out his camera and took a video. Let's watch the video. Damn, these guys are good. Look at them stealing. Really, bro? You gotta resort to this? Economy's not that bad. Hold on. Better get it while the getting's good. Oh, damn. So this employee of the supermarket, Santino Barola, you hear in the, in the video, 
He is not confronting them. He's not yelling obscenities at them. By the way, he probably should have. It would have been totally legitimate had he done that. He's actually, in a weird way, kind of joking around with them, saying, come on, the economy isn't that bad. You're really doing this? The point is he was standing back, taking a video, zooming in on the license plate number in order to report it to the police, which he did. And good news is that video that he sent to the police helped catch some of those culprits. The bad news is that Santiago Barola showed up to work the next day and was suspended when he returned to his next shift. And then a week later, he sat down with a union employee, not shocking, and a Kroger representative, and they told him that he was fired. Why? For posting a video of culprits stealing merchandise at the store that he's working at. Kroger said, well, we have a policy against employees chasing or inter intervening in a theft, which is why we fired Mr. Barola. Mr. Barola also says that he received racist comments about his video, but his response was, I didn't see color when I confronted the thieves. I've seen criminals, black, white, brown, purple. It didn't matter. A crime was being committed. Wrong is wrong, and a crime is a crime. But in this day and age, not only do we allow crime to be committed, we allow people who take videos or try to intervene to be fired and let go. I have an episode of Timeless airing this week, which I encourage all of you to watch, where I talk about how the main distinction in the United States is no longer Democrat or Republican, liberal or conservative. It's those who affirm civilizational values and those who affirm anti-civilizational values. It is a blatantly anti-civilizational value to fire someone for exposing a crime. <laughs> no more needs to be said. How have we gotten to this place? Let's go on to yet another incident. This one is in Lululemon, the store that in Atlanta. Two employees witnessed three armed masked men coming into the store to steal some merchandise. They took a video of it. You may be able to guess what happened. First, let's look at the footage. No, no, no. You can march back out. No, you can march out. No, no. Seriously. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get Jennifer Ferguson and Rachel Rogers, who are the two women that you hear in that video yelling, no, no, are you kidding? Get out. The two who were taking the video, they got fired. Why? Because they dared to take a video of people stealing merchandise in their store. This is the sick place that we are in the United States of America. The CEO of Lululemon, Calvin McDonald, defended Lululemon's decision to fire these two employees, saying, quote, we have a zero tolerance policy that we train our employees on around engaging during a theft. Why? Because we put the safety of our team front and center. It's only merchandise. Now, these employees didn't go up and attack those robbers. Again, that would totally have been justified. They stood back, they were just taking a video and yelling. But in the world of legitimizing crime today, you get punished for doing that. Miss Ferguson, as I said, who's one of the employees and former manager of the store who was fired, described what Lululemon's policy is when a robbery takes place. Guess what they're instructed to do? Quote, scan a QR code. That's it, I'm reading from Ms. Ferguson. We've been told not to put in any notes because that may scare other people. We're not even supposed to call the police, she said. We're not really even supposed to talk about it. Austin Sherrill is a 23-year-old clerk at Vons in Southern California. I'm just keeping going on with all of these lists. This is ridiculous. I can name to you several names of employees of people who've been fired. Austin Cheryl, 23-year-old clerk at Vons in Southern California, was fired after being violently assaulted three times on the job this year. Why was he fired? Well, he dared to fire a file a workers' compensation claim for his injuries endured by the assault. So when this is happening, when people are being punished for doing the right thing and being rewarded for doing the wrong thing, what are we to expect? Let's look at another recent robbery that took place at a CVS in Baltimore. We see the employees cowardly standing on watching it happen. But why would they do anything else? 
because they may get fired for even daring to say a word. Yes, it's very clear indeed. Some of us affirm civilizational values and some of us really don't. Thank you all for watching. To see more noteworthy news, hit the subscribe button down below and I'll see you all soon. Take care.